This is Bear. You may know him from Instagram because all I do is post him. He is just making a brief appearance because he's about to go uh, bark at some seagulls in the back garden or scream for some bits of bacon because I just had a bacon sandwich and it was so good. Say hello. Come on. Oh, no. Doesn't want any of it. Anyway, this is my second video um, in my video series. Uh, just getting a cup of tea. Actually, it's a cup of hot water. I don't really drink tea. I find um, caffeine makes me feel unnecessarily anxious and I don't need any extra stimulants. So hot water is, is my jam. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to talk today about Christmas because it's upon us and you cannot escape the ads. Every fucking medium of radio, TV, all over bloody Facebook and Instagram, it's just Christmas, 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 and buy this and go here and do that. And uh, I know it's been said before that, you know, it's very easy to lose sight of like what Christmas is supposed to be about. Um, so I'm not going to claim that this is anything new. But I do think it's really important to sort of take stock before you go into this sort of mad phase and decide what kind of Christmas you want to have. So I always get a little bit overwhelmed. Bear's chewing on my shoe now. Uh, I'm just going to let him do that. I always get a little bit overwhelmed this time of year because, um, well, I do since I started to really struggle with anxiety because I feel under pressure to, and it's under pressure from myself, but I guess you're soaking it in from, you know, it's coming at you from all angles, to to be really happy and um, all those songs that say, you know, it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's also like a really highly pressurised time of the year where you're trying to get to the finish line of work, you're trying to get things done, everyone's trying to gear up for a break, which is so needed, but by the time you get the break, you're so kind of worn out social appointments just ramp up people who you probably wouldn't see in February or April you sort of, sort of feel under pressure to see them before Christmas for some reason and connect with relatives and while it's all lovely it's just cramming an awful lot into such a short space of time um so I find it can be a little bit tough um and, and you know oh my god he's after pulling off the fucking bit of these are new new runners he just pulled off a little tag at the back of them here anyway I digress um yeah it can be completely lost my train of thought now um if you're feeling particularly low or you know you're going through something it's going to be like 10 times harder and you know that um but I just think you need to decide that okay if you wanted to go along with that and ride the wave which my t-shirt says um of Christmas and you enjoy that fine like if you love it that's great I used to really love it and now I feel a little bit allergic sometimes because I just feel under the pressure to also th there's the pressure of um trying to be well over Christmas like you know how fucking cold it gets and you've got the heating on full blast and I invariably always get some kind of flu but I got the flu jab this year so I suppose I probably built up a, a bit of a negative association with it because I find in the I found in the past that I you know I struggled to to get through the whole Christmas period unscathed um, and definitely by the time Christmas day rolls around you just sort of feel this anti-climax of you know what was all that kind of panicking and rushing around for and even like we've I think it's just gone mad now like Black Friday and Cyber Monday just this unbelievable pressure to that you convince yourself that you need to buy things that like you never would have bought were it not for these ads um, and I'm part of it too like I mean I'm a journalist and I promote these things and you know it's my job and of course you want to spend money at Christmas but I think you need to you don't need to do anything but if you if you struggle with anxiety and it gets you makes you overwhelmed this time of year I think it is worth deciding that you're just going to have your own version of Christmas so for me this this Christmas I am I'm in the middle of writing my second book um, which is going to come to an end in January so I kind of have to I have felt a bit under pressure obviously for a bit writing the book but also because it's coming up to Christmas and you know you're expected to be here there and everywhere but I am deciding that I'm just gonna do the bare minimum that I want to do like meet with my friends who I really care about and um, not feel the pressure to drink myself into oblivion every night which means I won't be able to function and um, you know alcohol and stuff will just like further suppress my immune system increase my chances of getting unwell so I'm just gonna like take the measures that I need to take so that I can you know get the job done and then be able to take a break in on Christmas week without feeling like I've just 
come tumbling down a mountain you know I want to I don't want to what happens often is that you know you go 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 and then you stop and then suddenly you're like Whoa. so I just don't want that to happen I want to kind of have a more mindful Christmas experience this year even if that sounds kind of bullshitty um and I've got my plans made already so like I have a couple of Christmas um events that I'm really looking forward to but I'm not cramming my calendar in with something on every night because that just doesn't serve me well I don't it's not that I'm like anti-social but I need like nights in I need cozy nights in I need just to chill so um there'll be lots of that and um yeah so try and zone out if you can of all of the ads telling you how happy you should be and how wonderful a time of year it should be everyone's gone through different things and I think you know you should use it as an opportunity to take stock and to chill and enjoy some time with family but um don't feel under pressure to to be all things to all people and my computer just went dark there so I don't know if that's still working it is Clearly I'm not very experienced with um, these video making things and Bear is still chewing at my feet. Um, so I will leave it there. That was probably a very rambling message of a public service announcement for Christmas, but um, that's what I'm going to do this year. <laughs>